Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. If you want to learn more about how to analyze mechanisms using analytical method, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. In this video, I am going to discuss slider crank mechanism static force analysis. In this picture shown is a horizontal slider crank mechanism. So this link AB is crank, this link BC is coupler and C this component C is piston. So on this piston a force P is applied. So to counter that there is a moment M is applied on the crank. So the crank length is B and coupler length is L. Angle between coupler and horizontal is alpha. Angle between crank and horizontal is theta. So in this problem we need to derive an expression or prove M by P that is m moment by this force p equal to b sin theta plus alpha by cos alpha. Let us see in the coming slides how to do that. Let us redraw this diagram here. So this is a coupler, this is crank. Let us draw a line from b onto this horizontal line. Let us call that point b prime. So this is a vertical line. So here we have a triangle, this triangle. So this side is L, this angle is alpha, this side is B and this angle is theta. So from this triangle we can find B, B prime as B sin theta that is also equal to L sin alpha. So this length is B, this angle is theta. So this height is B sin theta that is also equal to L, this length is L, this angle is alpha, L sin alpha. So B, B prime equal to B sin theta that is also equal to L sin alpha. So from this we can write sin alpha equal to B sin theta by L. So on this piston there is a force P is applied in the horizontal direction. So this force along this coupler will become P by cos alpha since this angle is alpha. So this force P by cos alpha will act along this coupler. Now let us draw a line from this point uh, a perpendicular line onto this arrow. So since this angle is theta, this angle is alpha. So this angle, angle between this line and crank will be theta plus alpha. So this perpendicular length will be B sin theta plus alpha since this length is B and this angle is theta plus alpha. So this perpendicular length is B sin theta plus alpha. Now let us take moments about this point A. So moments about A. So there is a moment m is in the counterclockwise direction and moment uh, due to this p by cos alpha will be in the clockwise direction. Now let us take uh, moments about a. So we can write sigma m o equal to 0. So m that is a counterclockwise direction moment equal to this force p by cos alpha into this perpendicular distance b sin theta plus alpha. So that is written here m equal to p by cos alpha into b sin theta plus alpha. So after rearranging this we can write m by p equal to b sin theta plus alpha by cos alpha. So this is the equation uh, we need to prove. That's all for today's video. If you like this content please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.